Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United Direct on the channel for United and football fans globally. Join us today on our panel representing UK is the analyst, Vim. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. How you doing? With, uh, beside him, he has Princess Sienna. Sienna, welcome to the show. It's wave, darling. Uh, rep the soul man, soul representative of U USA at the moment. Currently, we still have our going to join us. Mr. Soma, Mr. Positive, not looking too happy, having an Onana's baffled look behind him. Welcome to the show, brother. Hey, man. Welcome. Um, thanks. What's up, guys? <laughs> Born number three, Man United, Neil at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams, a capacity of 77,000, watched a horror show yesterday afternoon. After United won 2 1, beating Chelsea, now lose to Bournemouth, a lot of fans are kind of what is effing going on? They still can't understand. You beat Chelsea and lose to Bournemouth, who were 13th in the table as of before kickoff. Vim, the analyst, where in earth is this happening? Whereby United will beat Chelsea, but lose to Bournemouth 3 0. Not 3 2, 3 0. Um, where do we begin? I mean, this this team is just uh, shocking, right? Uh, their performances. I mean, Chelsea are struggling as well. I think they got yes. they got thrashed today, didn't they? Uh, by Everton, who are who are at the bottom of the table. Um, something. None, none Bournemouth, anymore. not anymore. Okay, no, no. Bournemouth have had a massive resurgence. I mean, they they were managed by Gary O'Neill previously, and they were really struggling. They haven't made many changes. They haven't made many changes, but as soon as they got this guy in, Andoni Iraola. Um, well, yeah, he's apparently he's been he's from the same kind of model of thought as Pep and um you know that yeah, type yeah. of tiki taka football. He's been studying <laughs> that, he's he's a, he's a student of it. He he's uh, had great um success over in Spain or wherever he, he was previously. Yeah. And um you know, they, there were lots of good reports about this guy and what he's done to his form with team in such a short space of time with, with a lot of unknowns. If you look at that team, yep. there's lots of unknowns players that we don't unknowns. even know about. Dominic Solanke is a, is a as Liverpool reject. Um, yeah. And the rest Nathan of the squad... Blake. Bloody hell, mate. Yeah, the, the, the rest of the squad, they're unknowns. I mean, they, they, they look like a team that was going to go down get yeah. relegated and That's they've absolutely schooled us and showed us how to play football i mean those guys when they picked up the ball they were immediate threats and they were forcing us to make mistake after mistake yep. after mistake so um you know it looks like that every we could swap out our team for every, most other teams in the premier league and we'd be better off uh, and that includes the management as well uh, you, 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 I see you dropping the management part at the end to the tail end of the, mm. of the conversation, <laughs> which is an open end. Vim, I've got your card. I see your game, mate. I see your game. Okay. So, man, where are we with uh, that disastrous performance yesterday? 3 0 at home to Bournemouth, considered a goal in four minutes. If you look at if you play that goal back, a lackadaisical pass from Bruno to McTominay, who was waiting for the boys to go into the ball. And they move quick, cut the ball back. One guy in between Maguire and Shaw, go number one, mate. At this point now, it just seems like we're just, you know, before we used to just have like one section of the pitch that was a huge problem that we had right. to fix, you know, right. either strategically or just get somebody better. Right. We are now in the mud on every... There isn't a single point on the pitch in which we are being successful at. Everything is off. Every every issue that we've had over the last 10 years, hmm. it's it's all failing. We've failed in every single one of those, and it's all happening in on the pitch every game, right? Obviously, what this game proves is Chelsea shit. Right? Yeah, that's what well, it does, though. That is not a good football team. So we we lucked out with that one because they weren't as clinical. But at the same time, this is this is just unacceptable, man. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not ready to, you know, I'm upset at Ten Hag. 
there's certain things that there's certain moves that he's making. Um, I, I just don't understand what the strategy is. I don't understand what he's trying to do. If I just understood what he was, I think what he's trying to do is mm. he's trying to implement a style of play and he just doesn't have the technical. They, these guys the don't have the technique to, do to, to players to do it. He just doesn't. This entire team needs to be dismantled. There's so many players from this starting level that needs to leave now that um, I, I feel like uh, Ten Hag will not be given the leeway because now, again, deja vu. Guess what we're doing now? We're, we're talking about lower-end football uh, managers yeah. that, you know, just just so happen to be, you know, like they're like the new, you know, the new kid on the block. I was like, hey, yeah. hey, like that guy from Bournemouth, forget it, Vin. He will not be, be he will not be successful here at United. He's, he's already having nobody. success now. He's hasn't he? Didn't they beat the only way he's City? successful at Old Trafford? Some other teams is if he's in the on uh, the opponent's box. That's the only. Oh, one. I'm not talking about at Manchester United. Yeah, I'm saying they come in and they turn teams around. around. Small. Look teams. at the look at the way they play football. I mean, come on, that was that was brilliant, wasn't it? They, they Watching Bournemouth, lesson, bro. We were taught a lesson yesterday. They, they were a goal threat all the time. We couldn't even get near their box, and we were yeah. shooting outside the twelve yard box all the time. We had we had a decent amount of touches in their box, just that we weren't clinical. We couldn't bring we them down. Clinical at all. Like like I said, the three main issues that we've always had as a football club: not being able to score goals, midfield just non-existent. If you look at the uh, the heat map for um, McTominay and Bruno. It's all forward. It's not in the midfield. Bruno spent all the time was running the midfield by himself. Like, like, and he did well. He did now, well now, that, now that, I've seen that enough to not put that on the players. Ten Hag, either he's responsible by telling them to do that, or he's responsible for not seeing what everybody else clearly can see. You're leaving, you're, you're, you're risking our style, you're risking your ability to move the ball quicker and faster and better simply for the off chance McTominay finds his way in the box. Exactly. And, and it's, it's that not, it's part, not that's be, on him. McTominay cannot save you. This is madness. Ten Hag is putting his career in the hands of McTominay, Scott McTominay. I'm telling you, like, like, when are we gonna? When are we going to understand how we score is even more important at this point than scoring goals? I don't care. Like if we have, if we, if we've had guys that scored, um, every, let's say every everybody in the forwards and some of the midfield have all scored four goals this season, right? Mm. But we played like crap, and they were all worthies, right? That is not what we need. We need team goals. We need cohesion. These one-off bicycle kicks, those are nice, but those are the cherries, man. We need solid team goals. And I'm just I'm just pretty disappointed disappointed at this point because um but I'm not I'm not ready to uh sell out the uh the manager. Uh I I want I want to see a lot more players leave this uh club before I see uh before I even start hearing the talk of Ten Hag leaving. All right. Uh, Kenneth, Mr. Fortress. The Fortress oh, will breach. The Fortress will breach. Oh, not fortress anymore, will, not anymore. The fortress, was, the fortress was dismantled, decapitated. The Fortress is leaking. Terminated. The Welcome Fortress is me. leaking. Oh, that, that, it, feels like, it feels like we had that call uh, about seven years ago. <laughs> My goodness, Old Trafford has turned into a, uh, I don't know, theater of nightmares. Right, so My welcome goodness. to the show, brother. We're welcome brother. to the UK. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Kenny. Thank right. you, Tim. You're, Kenny. you're on next, actually. You're literally yeah. Joe just finished you know. Right. We're, we're you have brother, two minutes. Because that's where you get go to get pumped. You have two minutes. What went wrong yesterday, mate? How did it go? What did, what did you see? Basically, what went right? <laughs> I didn't watch the game. Do you know what I thought? Because I took my wife and the kids to, we had, there's a Christmas fair. I right, live right. up in, Ro in Rochester, so there's a right. nice Christmas fair around the 
cathedral, Rochester Cathedral. Right. So I thought, you know what, I don't want to be like, I want to be present, you know. Normally my wife's like, hey, you look, you're checking the scores again. I put my phone on airplane <laughs> mode. Yeah, I put my phone on airplane mode. After I said, you know, I'm going to check at 5.15. So it gets to 5.15, took it off airplane mode, went into one football. I looked at my phone and I was like, oh, this is a mistake. They've put the scores the wrong way around. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, I thought because once one foot, I don't know if you guys use one foot, sometimes they make mistakes as well. So I thought, <laughs> yeah, this, this happened again. And then I looked, I was like, oh my goodness. But then it took me, my wife was like, Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> my wife was like, Are you all right? I was like, Yeah, I think I'm fine. Oh, we lost three nil. I was like, trying to look at what happened, you know, looking at the group, there was like 150 messages I knew or something gone wrong. And I saw the highlights and I was like, oh, my God. Thank That's goodness. a classic one, it. mate. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I, don't know. I mean, you didn't miss know. much. It was an absolute nightmare. I mean, like Joe mentioned just now, that midfield of McTominay, Amabat and Bruno, McTominay disappears and the hoping is going to pop up in a box and score. I'm about, I would say, I'm about randomly for all by himself, breaking up plays, moving the ball forward, breaking up plays. And Bruno's erratic passing was unnecessarily yesterday. Like, who I know why. There? He, coughed, he coughed the ball up 22 times. Yes. I know, I know I know I know what you just said about uh Amrabat alone being the only holding midfield. I know why that is on the manager. That it's is on the manager because he's trying to play two number eight yeah. or maybe one number eight and a number 10 and a number 6 and basically the number 10's up there the number 8 goes up as well so you have two wingers you have two number one number 8 and number 10 playing as two 10s basically yeah so two 10s and two wingers and you have the striker and that leaves um uh, the defensive midfielder exposed it happened under Casemiro that's why Casemiro yeah, looked so terrible yeah. yeah that's why Casemiro looked so bad i know he's trying to break up yeah. the McFred thing but dude we are not in a position to play any type of good football. I mean, like, right now. Let's play three centre mids. Um, Bruno, um, what's, let Bruno play, play as a centre mid. I think Oli's done it once. It was on time, Oli. Even, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ten Hag's done that once. Play uh, Bruno as a centre mid. Play a defense, two defensive midfielders and a centre mid in front. No number 10. Forget the number 10. Let's try and get hold of the ball and pass the ball a little bit and then we, we will we have players to create chances bruno will always create something you know our wingers will always will try to but when you're going gone that's why to be i was watching a, one of the, the the youtube videos and a guy summed it up perfectly the only way the best way to beat manchester united is to let them have the ball they're gonna make they're gonna shoot themselves yeah. on the foot you press them you could get the ball and you can counter them because when every when you have those two tens up there, the two wingers up there, put the full back bombed up, you got the striker up there, just hit them on the break, and you have Amrabat chasing or Casemiro chasing shadows. Yeah. Ten Hag is the real yesterday. It was similar yesterday. Yeah. Let's 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 forget all these nonsense. And that's why he bought Mason. That's why he's what he's been trying to do this season. Dude, it's not working. Play if you want, play two DMs or play three centre mids, and let's take it from there. But with, all, but, yeah, but with Scott being, but with Scott being out to play as a midfielder, but he's, he, 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 he abandons that position and goes to try and be in a box. Yeah, because he's he, the so eight. yesterday it was just Amabat literally cut, to play breaking ten. a play, starting another play, breaking a play, starting another play. It, it didn't work. That's a problem. So, Vim, in terms of the mistakes, when you saw. <laughs> You don't think any of those goals, any of those mistakes, or, uh, you don't, you, you say you, you think uh, Onana could have done better than any of those. I don't see any of them being, he could have done nothing, man. I don't know. I mean, you know, I can't remember, was it the first or second? The third one, he, he was just, he the just third stopped one, there. The corner kick. He didn't even they, go they, for it. They, yeah. They, they, no, no, listen, 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 you are asking this guy to defy physics. Look at where he started and look at where the, the ball even had pace, too. On the far left side, they hit the side knitting. Come on. There was no way he was making that. There's no way. Look at how far. Look, I mean, it, look, it's, it's, all, it's all a matter of opinion, right? It, they just looked pretty close it's to him. It's not opinion. You can see. Well, it's my opinion. 
Okay. I think the ball looked quite close to him. I don't know. The, the head Wait, do you mean the first seems goal to. Or the, the second goal? I can't remember. Just one the of them. The second or third goal headers, and uh, they were like. It's within uh, the arm's reach, anyway. Look, the thing is with Anana. My impression of him has changed now. After watching him concede all those goals in the Champions League, this guy is not a good keeper. I think we've made a big mistake with him because he cannot do the basics of goalkeeping, which is shot stopping. And I just think that he's he doesn't seem to be prepared, mentally prepared for these games. He doesn't have the same reactionary speed as some of the top goalkeepers. And I think we're going to really struggle with this guy. I'm hoping he's going to improve un under the coaching of the goalkeepers that we have. But I don't think he'll ever emulate the shot stopping capability of David De Gea. And if we've bought him because he's a sweeper keeper and he can play it from the back, then I think um, it's going to cost us dearly. Um, we're not playing. Full, you know, we're not playing balls of feet anymore from the back. Yeah, I, I, you know, look, I'm not. I don't. You, you know, the goals that we conceded yesterday, they're not his fault. I'm not saying they're his fault. What I'm saying is that um, I think that he is a massive liability, as is people in our defence, midfield and our forward line. Our forward line, the front three of uh, Rasmus, Marshall and uh, Rashford are probably the probably the most out of form, the worst forward line in the whole of the Premier League at the moment. Um, they are absolutely atrocious, the three of them. Rasmus, who we've overpaid for 74 million, cannot score. He just seems to be... Um, good he's rash. got good energy, good work rate but he just cannot seem to connect with the ball very well and strike it. He's, he's, he's hardly hitting the target. Yes, he's got great energy. Martial is extremely lazy, doesn't press. I mean, you see him jogging around, you know, just like half, like half heartedly trying to cross down, uh, close down Bournemouth. And Rashford is, um, you know, doing this, the same stupid things of running into traffic and di being dispossessed. He's always being dispossessed. So those three are absolutely atrocious. And, you know, as much as our midfield and defence try and try and try, they expect the forward line to bang in those goals. And they can't do it. And I think they are losing confidence with that forward line. Um, and I think we've got to dismantle it quickly. You know, uh, Scott McTominay has almost been trying to fill in as a striker to try and make up for Rasmus's deficiencies. And he has been doing that. But we cannot rely on him to do that going forward. You know, we the, the forward line needs to be banging in the goals or creating chances or, or even hitting the target. Garnacho's missing a lot as well now. You know, he's, 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 he's great at taking on players and going past them. Mm. But you saw the wild shots he makes. I mean, it's a big goal, right? And he's missing the target a lot. And Anthony, we all know what Anthony is capable of. So really, you, there's there's no goals coming from anywhere. No one is capable of scoring in this team, and that's what's destroying us. So yeah, good point. Very good point. Uh, Joe, in, re, in in from what Vim is this, what Vim is saying is simple as this. He's saying, as bad as the team is. The, top, the strikers need to put the ball in the net. And they're not even doing that. Because even though United are conceding, because if we, if we go back to 2011, when the girl made his first his debut, he was horrible. And I mean horrible. He was, um, he was bad. But the reason it covered up, we got being 6-1 at Old Trafford by Man City. 6-1. Balotelli got a hat-trick. But the point there was, the forward line could still get you out of trouble. Now... We concede, we can score. That's the difference. That's why it looks so bad. We still won the league title, don't get me wrong. We still won the league title that season. Imagine that. We still won the league title. Despite the girl dropping clangers week in, week out. We're winning again 4 3 3 2, 4 3 3 2, 3 2, 2 1. Just dropping mistakes. But we still won the league title because we could put the ball in it. This time, we can't. We can't. That's the problem. See? Are you still Ten Hag in? Or you think it's time to get rid of oh, For it? sure. No, no, for sure. I'm still Ten Hag in. All day, every day. Because Ten Hag is not able to implement his style of play because these players do not have the heart, the mental capacity, and to be actually, uh, to be to be honest, the technical 
attributes to be successful at this club. So until that happens, I need to see those guys exit the club before we even start talking about bringing somebody else. I, why, why? What's the point? What's the point of bringing somebody else to just fail at United again? Thank there's you. no point. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no salvaging these players. No. We, this, it needs to be I'm completely agreeing. redone. Every, like, the, I would say maybe one or two people from the starting lineup today can stay. We'll keep Ganacho. He's young. We'll keep Hoyland because he's young, right? Those wages are going to be a problem, but um, we'll keep Bruno. But then everybody else, everybody else can go. Dalo, Maguire, uh, Lindelof. Well, Lindelof didn't play today. Um, Evans, uh, sure. Or maybe give him, an, give him another season because he's not good. Sometimes I feel like he's not good enough. Uh, McTominay, got to go. I'm a bat. Played so well I'm, yesterday. He played. He, he played, literally ran his played, off up yesterday. Played this, I, I can see him as a squad player, right? Somebody come in. But it, I, I still need there's, – there's like a level that I see with Casemiro that I don't see with him, right? And we need somebody at Casemiro's level, right, that's fit, right? Okay. So, Anthony, got to go. Um, Yeah. Every, every, Rashford, Rashford definitely got to go. Marshall. Has to go. Martial has to go, you know? So if there's so many players out here that really do not deserve to wear this badge anymore, why are we in? They've been doing this and have been guilty of this for multiple seasons. Why are we such in a hurry to get rid of the manager? Because. You know? So that's why I'm 10 high. I'm, I'm 10 high. Nobody's going to turn this around, man. Like, and even if they turn it around, if somebody comes in and it turns around, we start winning a little bit. We've seen this before, bro. Yeah, it's I, 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 I've, seen, I, I, I've, seen, I've seen this show before, and I, and, and I'm, manager, I'm still ten hog in. I'm still ten hog in, new, and I don't new manager. Reason. Right, go on. What's gonna happen? It's gonna be a new manager bounce, and a bunch of people are gonna get their contracts re up. They're gonna die again next season, and down tools again next season. But I was stuck with them with these lucrative contracts. Nah, they gotta go. I agree because what it is, if, if you look at, if you look, I looked at a few. I looked. I did a few uh, fact searching today. Van Hal was given two years, sacked. Marino, two and a half, sacked. Ole, two and a half, sacked. This guy has only done one and a half less than all of them and has done better at the one and a half mark than any of them. So I'm thinking, why are we firing him? How about, do you know we still have players from Van Gaal, Marino, Ole buys? We still have them. So new manager is going to have, on top of those buys, Ten hands buys. Then bring it. This is it's just a constant cycle. Yeah. It's about time we say we are not firing any manager. You guys need to buck up or get out. End of. We're done firing yeah. managers. It's, this ain't going to. A new manager come in. Hey, just everyone deserve it, deserve it. Do you think these guys could handle the club this side? Yo. Do they know the Yo. pleasure? Yeah, I'm mean, like, United. We, listen, last year. A, a couple of seasons ago, Ten Hag was the Deserby. Exactly. <laughs> what he's talking about. Exactly. Ten Hag was the Deserby. We got yeah. our Deserby from Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. From Ajax. From Holland, yeah. You know, like, he was, he was the Ajax guy. He was the look one up, was going Look at Poch. Look at Poch. Yo, we, we were talking about what school he went to. He's Like, um, Ben was talking about how this, uh, this other guy from Bournemouth, he was under the Pep Guardiola. Yeah. What's his name is under they're under the same pep, you know, the old Pep Guardiola, you know, like tactics or whatever. We've seen this before, man. We've seen this before. Let's let's just chill. Let's just calm down and get rid of these players. Right? Let's let's do better with our recruiting. Let's do better with uh uh handing out these contracts so that we can hold these players accountable. I feel like there's too many players that cannot be held accountable because it's money in the bank every week, man. It's hard. It's hard to feel bad when you got that much money in the bank. I'm I'm sorry. So get rid of the players, man. I'm ten hog in. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm 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 to this day, I'm still ten hog in. Yeah, he might make some bad selections, but you got to look at the performances of these players and look at like, are you sure you couldn't have tracked back? Are you sure you couldn't have been aware? I mean. 
A, a manager can only do so much. Bo yesterday, Bournemouth, each Bournemouth player knew the role. They knew where the East person was. It looked like I was watching Real Madrid. And it's only Bournemouth, 13th in the league. Schooling United at Old Trafford in front of 77,000. Bro. It's unacceptable, bro. But the players have to take a look at themselves like, what is wrong with these guys? We bring another manager in. These guys, like Joe said, they'll try and get the contracts for those whose contracts expire next year, who play well, do the same thing again. Because same the fact thing. of the matter, most of them are not good enough. Seriously, the bang average. Most of them are bang average. Honestly, it just makes me realize, like, you know what? How many of them is going to get into a city starter, even a city bench, or a Liverpool bench, or even an Arsenal bench, or even a Spurs bench today? None. They're that bad. They are that bad. I'm going to take a pause and welcome Chief Katanga Chris, representing UK. Welcome to the show, brother. Yes, Tim. How's everyone doing? We well, are not so great. good, I guess. Good, good to hear back from you. Welcome on the show. I know we're short, but thank you for joining us. Ben's the controversial one. Welcome for representing the USA crew. Welcome on the show. Hey, what's up, man? What's going right. on, guys? We are at the point now of like, how bad is United? I'm going to jump straight to Chris. How bad is this United considering the game we're losing at Bournemouth yesterday? You have two minutes to analyse this situation. What's your thoughts? What's your say, Chris? It was just a complete mess. Shambles. I've read a... There's a there was a comment that Michael Owen said he said, he said mishmash. I, I, I mean he, you can't get it better than that. It was really really bad. Like from the moment the game kicked off, they were just sloppy. And then you had <laughs> what's his name, Bruno Fernandez. I don't know what he was trying to do. That was like, unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary. He flicks the ball up in a dangerous area. You don't do those kind of things. He flicks the ball up, and then the next thing you know, boom! I forgot the ball. Back. And then if there's a there's a short cross, then bang in the in the net, and then <laughs> later on, Shaw makes a mistake. I don't know what kind of a pass he was doing, whether it was a bland pass or whatever. Makes a mistake, bang! Within a couple of seconds, the ball's in back in the net, and then the third goal, slap oh, defending on set pieces. It's just in basic stuff that they're not doing. And these are the same things we've been seeing for the past, for the whole season, really. There hasn't been any improvements. It is on the manager, Chris. It is on Sorry? the manager. It is on the manager. To me, it's on the manager. To be, be, people can say whatever, but the fact that you're getting the re, a re, repetition of the same mistakes, there's no improvements, that he's picking the players, like, what's going on? Somebody has to take the blame. And to me, it, it, this is all on Ten Hag. It was really, really bad. Like, they just couldn't cope with the pressing at all from Bournemouth. Bournemouth and it, what Bournemouth were doing wasn't anything extraordinary. It wasn't anything that we've never seen before. Yep. But they were organised. And you know, and we all know that as soon as Man United come up against any team that's organised, they're going to fumble. And that's what we've seen for the whole season. I don't see anything changing. What, look at the next two games. What, what what's the average score going to be? 10 0, 10 1. Take a pick, take your pick because that's what it's going to look like. All right, thank you, Chris. Bench, uh, Bournemouth yesterday, the, the players or the manager. I'm sorry, man. I don't know how we can keep putting this on the managers. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how we can keep putting this on the manager every, every, every time. Manager, 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 manager. At what point are United fans going to wake up and smell the coffee that these players are trash? We've had, we've been inconsistent. We've had bad games like this for 10 years. Let's be real. Let's be honest. It happened on the Mourinho. It happened on the Van Gaal. It happened on the every single manager. This is nothing new. This is nothing new. This is nothing new at all. It's just a different, different manager, same situation, different manager. At what point do we call out the players? Every time, like, I, I, I don't, it, it would be nice to see a plan if, uh, if when people that say the, is a manager, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be nice to get a plan on how you would, uh, on which manner 
on which manager you would uh, um get one and your plan with that new manager and how that new manager is going to change these things around and not have the same issue two years from now. It'll be nice. I, I, I really would love to see that because I don't see how any manager on earth, and I could bet my life on this thing, no manager put will make this club better. The only way this club turns, only way this, this team turns, is if you restructure the whole, like scrap everything. Start from scratch. New new structure. I keep saying this. Yes, we may have a structure, but Murtor is not good enough. Arnold is not good enough. The, is in, these guys are not good enough. Employ people, football people that can make these decisions. Decide on the style that you want to play. Get a good recruitment team behind the manager. And then, I mean, if you eventually, maybe Ten Hag down the line, maybe he might not be the manager. But for now... We've seen the same thing with different managers. It's the same thing. It's, just, it's the same thing. On the Mourinho, we would go on the Mourinho, we would lose to to bottom teams at home. It's nothing new. We would lose to bottom teams in the table at home. It happened on the Mourinho. I'm sure it happened on the Van Gaal. Yeah. And I, I'm sure it happened on the Ole. It's nothing new. So the thing is, now, if you go through the squad, right, you have players that have been through different managers, right? You got Anthony Martial that was purchased from Van Gaal and still in the team. He's not been sold. They're talking about giving him a new contract. There's the club, by the way. Then you have players like, I mean, Lindelof, who was bought by Mourinho. You have players like uh, McTominay, who was promoted by Mourinho. You have players like Delo Mourinho. Yes, you have uh, uh, um, the players that uh, uh, ETH from, purchased. Shows from Van Gaal. But yeah, exactly. Shows from Van Gaal. You have mixed match of different players. How can you expect a manager to untangle? See, it's like you keep you keep papering the crack, then you get a new manager, a fix it. Then that new manager will paper over the crack that the previous manager did yeah. because he wants to do his own stuff. And then you sack him, you I get agree. another manager, paper over that one again. It, just think about it. But yeah, so I guess my my own thing is yeah. I mean, it's um yeah, the manager has to take some blame. Don't get me wrong, guys. Take some blame. That is, he's not, he's not perfect. He, he did make make mistakes, but this is heavily a, a lot is on the players. I'm sorry. Right, that's Thank my you. take. Um. Okay, let me go back to Chris. Chris, you're you're saying it's the manager. There's no, I, I can't see any man who's going to come and change this. This what we have right here. I can't, I can't see a manager come to change it. You could bring Pep. What's he going to change? Get rid of the whole team and bring on a new team, right? We can't even sell the basic players, let alone them ones on high wages. But, but, but the, thing, the, mm -hmm. the thing is, the thing is for me is, um, if you look at Ten Hag, like, in terms of, like, in, in, in relation to the players, the situation is very toxic with a lot of players. Like, I can give you an example recently with, with what we were of Varane. Like, how... I don't understand how you can have a disconnection. How does he, how you can lose that relationship with somebody like Varane? I haven't ever heard of Varane causing an issue to any coach. And the fact that he's having issues with Ten Hag and right. then there's other players, that's not, that's the, when does this end? Because it, it, it's like every week there's a new player. That's one of the worst one. That's another reason why to meet Ten Hag. It's, 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 it's so you're saying you're saying his man management style is not good. So you're talking man management, player to manager one on one, right? Yeah, man management, in game management. What we're seeing this season in terms of the tactics to set up, that's purely down to him. I understand the overall structure of the club. Yes, the overall structure of the club, it needs to be changed. No doubt about it. But the Glazers have no, they have no effect in terms of the in game management. They have no effect in terms of starting lineup they have no effect in terms of the tactics that are on display they have no they have no effect in terms of the the, the coaches the coach having a poor relationship with certain individual players that falls right. on him yeah true. that that's the whole point i'm getting at. i understand what people are saying about the whole structure yeah i get that 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 in itself is not going to help any coach but the way things are going right now things are going to get worse they're not going to improve things are going to get worse and it, like we've seen, we've seen the Bournemouth result, but there's going to be other results coming down further down the line. And you look at the next five games. But the next five games that what they got: Bayern Munich, Liverpool, isn't it? West Ham away, 
and then they go uh, Villa. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> the fifth game off the top of my head, but that's that's catastrophic. Right. It's catastrophic. Things are not going to improve. Things are not going to improve. But to me, like, people can say whatever they want to say. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Many clubs have changed coaches in the past. All right. And yes, they have changed coaches, but yeah. the players, the players are able to adapt to the coaches. It seems these guys are either too thick or they just don't understand what is asked of them. So, okay. Yeah. So, while I'm, uh, while I'm, Chris, because after Chris, we're going to jump to Vim. What I'm saying yeah. here is this. So, where do the players be held accountable for the bad individual errors? Where are, When is it like, you know, he effed up? Where, where, where's that? We can't just keep blaming It's the man. Okay, look at the, the, the you saw the first goal, right? You saw the yeah. first goal. Yeah. Bruno. Was that pass necessary right there? No, it wasn't. Okay, look, 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 you saw the cutback. In between Shaw and Maguire, the guy comes in between both of them. Yeah. Is that not common awareness, proactiveness? Yeah. That's not the coach. Ain't it about the football intelligence here? Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But the, but the point I'm making across is the fact that it's, there's a culmination of mistakes and they keep, it keeps happening, happening time and time. Every game, it keeps happening. Time and time again. Don't get me wrong, these players are weak, a lot of them are weak. And a lot of them are not the quality that Man United require. But the setup, Ten Hag set the lineups, he set the tactics up for the players to fail. It was it was abysmal, the tactics. They were so wide open every time Boom of counter attacked. They were getting through. Every time they had the clearest chances in the whole game. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. It could have been six or seven nil. At half time, they could have gone in two new at half time. I remember yeah, they hit the that post. post. The one that hit the it post. It was really bad. Ten Hag set them up to fail. No doubt about it. I'm telling you guys, it, 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 was, it was the tatics were non existent. There was no tactics at all whatsoever. Oh, but okay. I understand I mean, individual players, players make mistakes individually. But the thing is, if they were properly set up, they won't they will make mistakes, but it won't be as prevalent as how it is now because. Because of the, the way the, the players are set up poorly initially by the coach. When yes, they come on the pitch. Rich, I get what you're saying. What, what you're, so saying you're saying is, that, if you hold, say hold that, on, Ken. Okay. Let, 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 let me run to Vim. Vim, when I, is it player, is it, is it manager, is it player? Yes, the, man, the, player, the manager selects the players. He's told them, hey, do A, B, C, D, stay this, stay here, stay here. They, 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 they go further, don't track back. Uh, walking on the pitch, not running back, not closing down. So who who literally are we talking here? Who should be held accountable? Manager or the players? Um, both. Okay. L looking at Andoni Irola's style of football, he wants to play counter pressing. For those who don't know, who, who with... are we talking about? Huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a Bournemouth manager, right? Okay. So he he wants to play the exact style of football that Ten Hag wants to play, and he's turned around this team that was fighting Rubbish. for relegation under Gary O'Neill. He's taken the same bunch of players and he's implemented Ten Hag's football immediately. Because if you look at what they what he's trying to do, he's trying to play counter pressing football, transitioning from defense to attack very quickly, intercepting the ball in advanced areas and a rapid counter-attack to bewilder opponents and heighten the team's potency in front of goal. Um, not only does this style frustrate opponents, but it also capitalizes on their defensive vulnerabilities. Oh dear. Ten Hag's had a bit of time to do that with his team, and he cannot do it. And if you look, if you, you know, player by player, if you compare all of our squad to Bournemouth, you'd probably think that our squad is better. Hmm. I think most people would say our squad is better. Hmm. So what is it about his coaching methods or his management style or his communication that is failing in getting our players to play this type of football. I think that potentially he's he's blaming the players. He's saying they're not capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. But you look at Bournemouth's team. They, they look like very uh, av average bunch of players prior yeah. to this manager coming in. And he's, yeah. he's transformed them in a short space of time. Right. So I think, therefore, that, that he's probably kind of, he cannot coach these lot to do that. Um, and that falls on the manager, unfortunately. Is there something called, uh, is there something called 
players are uncoachable when they've already got a certain no, style. I don't. No, I don't think there are. I don't think anyone's uncoachable. There's, you know, you you have to you have to get across a philosophy of football, a system of play that everyone understands and everyone can subscribe to. Now, if you're going to take very average players who are Bournemouth and you can get them to play that football within a matter of what? How, how long has he been there now? Three months, I think, if that. Three months, yeah. He's transformed that team within three months. Ten Hag has had a lot of time. But the other thing as well is that what annoys me about Ten Hag is that, and you know, uh, Chris, you mentioned it earlier, is it's falling out with lots of players. It's causing lots of fights. And that that breaks down the disharmony in the team. If you're going to, if you're going to try and um, uh, put a, you know, sideline ex Real Madrid players who know how to win matches, who are know who are good and experienced players like Casemiro and, and Varane. Um, and then you've got a talented player in Sancho. Okay, right, he needs a little bit more work and you know a little bit more um, coaching to to be a, a stronger and, and physical player. But if you're going to sideline Casemiro and Varane, who know how to win, who've got a number of medals under their belt, then you you you're, you're effectively destroying your own team. He's, he's put a target his own, on his own back by sidelining the key players that we do need. You've got to keep Casemiro on side. That guy know how, knows how to run a defence. You put him next to Amrabat, that's a solid midfield. You, 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 Ravaran is, is, is a great centre-back. He will know, he, he makes every other centre-back better by being there. I mean, him and you know, Martinez's Martinez. partnership was fantastic last year. So if he's, if he's singling out players, he's picking fights with players that is destroying his own team. He's doing this damage himself. Hmm. He's, he's okay. destroying this team himself. And I know we, know we need wholesale changes. I know we need better people at the club. And I know we need a new ownership. But Ten Hag has messed up this season. Wow. Oh, Bim, I'll leave that there. Wow. I, 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 good, good interpretation. Joe, Yo, you have something yeah. to counter. I, 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 I got stuff I just to say, say too, man. Okay, Joe, go let, let Joe go. No, I'm, just gonna Joe. Say one, I'm just going to say one quick thing about Varane and Casemiro, and then I'm going to send it straight to them. Right? Okay. I understand, right, Casemiro and Varane were involved with very good teams at Real Madrid. Yes. Right? Let's not act like Real Madrid would not have won those trophies without Casemiro and Varane. That's a team that had Modric and Cruz in that midfield. That is a team that had Sergio in that as a center back. So let's Cristiano let's, Ronaldo let's, too. Let's, On the flip that, side, you can say Cruz and Modric had Casemiro, couldn't you? Yeah. And yes, they but, had always had people like Benzema and Ronaldo who were always going to put the ball in there for them. So regardless, they had that team was solid, solid. That that team was a well, that team was a well machine. Was you can't okay, compare so that team to United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so another thing, that's who they were. It's clear that is no longer who they are now. Those are not the same guys. So now you're saying it's not Dan Greg. But, but, <laughs> but, but, but Joe, let me ask you something, Greg. okay? So Joe, I'll, let me ask I'll, you something. I'll. Casemiro and Varane are on the bench being paid astronomical wages. Would you just let them, let them stay there and rot? Or would you Casimiro's not try to use, utilize them? Casemiro is injured. 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 And, is Varane injured? Is injured. and no. Eric Ten Hag has said time and time again, he does not like playing Harry Maguire or Varane as left side center backs. And because Harry Maguire to him is the more informed right center back, Harry Maguire is starting over Varane. That is why Luke Shaw is starting on the left. That is why uh, um, Johnny Evans. Evans came in today. You know, so that, that, that is something that Ten Hag has said with his own mouth. Yep. Right. Yes. I don't so believe everything like that Ten Hag says. I don't believe everything he says. He, okay. he does. Yeah, no he does you give know, you misinformation. Really There's no excuse. No excuse. Do no you, you not think he's disingenuous? I mean, wait, 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 wait. We believe everything he tells you. We we talk about the Bournemouth manager, right? The Bournemouth manager that has done. Yeah. I mean, I got. We just hold on. We're just approaching the half time mark of the show, so we are now in the second half. So, Bams, the floor is yours. Okay. We talk about Bournemouth manager that's been doing for three months, right? Uh, yes. Come back in a year's time and tell me that statement if he's still doing it in a year's time. Because <laughs> that's not a valid argument. I'm sorry. Because um, 
the last the last I checked, Ten Hag was playing a better style of football last season. We won a trophy. We went uh, um Carabao Cup. We went to two and finals. Went, we went to two finals. The last I checked, we played Barcelona out the park two games, home and away, in the Champions League. What was it? Europa League or Champions League? Or, or it was Europa League, right? Europa League. We played well. We played well against Barcelona in those two games. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. The the the. The backlash, like the, I mean, just going at Ten Hag doesn't make any sense. Because last season, I didn't see this energy last season. But I'm seeing this, I'm not seeing this energy. I didn't see it last season. Everyone so was, so you so so are, you yeah. are saying, it, you're holding the players accountable, not the manager. Hell yeah, I'm holding the players accountable, man. Because I've seen this, I've seen this with this squad, season after season. This is the same, this is a like, again, like I said before, this is a mixed match of different players from different managers. There is a theme. There is there is an infection in this club that has been going on for ten years. It is in it's 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 clear. This is not the first time and not the last time we've we've lost these kind of games. It happens. It's happened every single season under different managers. Okay, managers picking the fight with Varane. Okay, what happened on the Mourinho? Didn't he have issues with players? Yes, he did. Didn't only have issues with players. And they wasn't in the people players. like Eric Bailly saying, oh, uh, uh, the manager's shit because he's not he's picking his favorites. Yes. It's always gonna happen. I'm sorry. That's 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 football. That's the, that's a squad. It, there's always gonna be players that will not get along with the manager. Varane and uh in in, in um in uh and Ten Hag were on good terms last season, right? But just like Joe said, what Ten Hag, what I've seen in Ten Hag is that okay. If you're playing well, you keep your shirt. For example, like, I mean, you just said it. Maguire is playing well, and rightly so. He should be playing. He should, he, but if you, I agree, Varane is a better center back. Varane should be playing. But again, aren't we the same uh, um, group of fans that were complaining about Varane being so injury uh, injury prone last uh, um, last season? How many games did he miss last season because he was injured? Okay, what's to tell you that if he played, Varane can't play three games a week. I hope we all know that, right? Right. He, he, okay. So all this complaint, Varane pick Varane should be playing. Yeah, I agree, he should be playing. But you can't he can only play one game a week. So what so about playing one game games? a week then? Play one okay, game but, a week. Okay, playing one game a week. But then one game so you're telling me Varane playing this in this team one once a week is gonna change our fortune, it's gonna be winning all the games. I think it is makes a better saying? defense, yeah. It, 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 uh, Benz, but uh, what Vimmy say, even if Varane played the one it, it should still make a difference because when he came on against Gallic Tassa, right? FC Copenhagen. It was an absolute disaster, mate. He was caused the cause of two of the goals. He was like, I don't know. He was like, he wasn't even okay. there. Yeah, it's like he wasn't even there. So yeah, he's gonna make a he's gonna make a difference. It could be positive. It could be negative. I I can. I'm, that you cannot predict the way the game defender. would go. We know we uh, we are seven. He's a good yes. defender. We know that. He, but he's, for he's some the reason, option. though, even if yeah. you can't play three days a three games a week because yeah. of injuries, fine. Then play me the one game a week. Then that we I, we don't even see that. I, I what, do that's agree. That's what Billy saying. Don't, we don't even see him at all. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. I agree. He should be playing more games. But I do not think Varane playing once a week is gonna suddenly start making us not losing these games we're losing. We will still lose. We might have won maybe one out of the three. We I'm just saying. Let's say. Out of three, we played in a week. We lost three. We might have won one, but we still we still would have lost two. It, it, that doesn't it doesn't make any big difference, in my opinion. When when uh, when uh, uh, um um Ten Hag in the summer said he wanted King Ming J, did the club get in King Ming J? No. no. When the club when a manager says these are the tools that I need, right? They gave him some tools. The other tools they didn't give him, right? And then you expect him to go into the season and get results and go fight for the title with a with a with tools that he said he wanted to change. No. Yes, he's he's in charge of the tactics. Every, every coach okay. is not going to be able to sign all the players that they want, though. Yeah, so, but I'm telling. Okay, okay. Let me ask you guys this question, right? It. Let me ask you this question, yeah, Chris. Right? The, lot, what you have to cover, what you have to do, what a lot of the coaches yeah. what they have to do, they yeah. need, they need to find a way to bring in the players who were there before and to bring bring them on board to what to their strategy to their tactics. Because okay, you know, but how many times will you? Okay. You you okay? You sack a manager, then the new manager. Hey, let me let me let me explain you my own tactics so you get on board. And then you sack that one, and you get a new manager to get these same players to 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 get on board to the new managers. How many? Like at, at what point do you do you sell the players right and let the manager get 
all the plays that he wants. Look at uh, um, look at a uh, uh, Pep squad. All those players in Pep squad are all these players. When right. he when he took over that club, were all were, were all those players there? No. Look at club, the same thing. Were all those players that he has now were they there when he took over the club? No. Look at I Arteta. Mean, so, I mean, the squad yeah, that he has now. Give, when he, give or take. When give he, or take. Give or take. But not as so much as United. The club, no, most, not just United. Most of the players that all these managers have now playing, most of these players that they have were not there the, uh, uh, um, when they first took over the, uh, those clubs. Okay. Okay. But right. it, but it, let but me here, go it, to. But yeah, United is, is a different situation. It's, it's not fair, man. It's not fair. How much more money? How much more money does Ten Hag need, though? It's That's obvious that it's obvious that Bems is with the manager, Vim. Uh, I mean, Look, uh, Bems is about I, I always the Bems said I wanted Ten Hag to succeed, but I think yes. he's just messed up. Okay. Right. I, I think. I we mean, he's he spent over four hundred. Maybe he'll do better. No, I never said that. Did I say? I think we should hire. Did I say that he could coach the system better? One at a time. Are you being serious? <laughs> if yeah, that's I'm not serious. what you're saying, I'm why did you bring it up? Yeah, you can coach the system why? better. Because he's he's basically had... Coach it. No, I just don't think... I think he's struggling to get these players to play the style of football he wants. Okay, well, they name a manager Sometimes that can get the players to do it. What manager can get a player to play the system that I have he wants? no idea. I have okay. no idea. Then until you have a plan and tell me which manager can do that, then we can then we can have an argument. Because I, 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 I don't... I don't know which manager can. Okay. I mean, you're going like, to keep defending uh, Ten Hag, and you're going to we're going to probably end up at the bottom of the table, and we're going to give him another totally five hundred million. I'm and totally you know, and that. then okay, so what happens ben, when let, he's I'm, got I'm his whole? Finished, what let happens if he's got his whole squad, right? All the players that he wants, and he still can't implement um, then I'll a, sack him. a title winning then I'll sack him. type of football. Then you'll sp you'll sack yes, him. Yes. At that point, we're going to yes. probably be at a billion spend. No, 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 that's no, fine. No, that's not that, on him. Players, that's on the player. player. One at a time. One at a time. He turns some of his players. He doesn't even play them. He doesn't. Mansu Mount. He doesn't play him. Anthony. He he, he just brought integrated him recently. He he signed some of his players. He doesn't have any confidence in them. You have to be honest about that. He hasn't started many of his players that he signed. So so Mason. Okay. Let me let me go to Ken. So we have a divided we have a divided house now. We have those who are holding players accountable, those who are playing holding every ten hug accountable. Some are con uh, holding the two combined are both accountable and uh, responsible for this rot that's seeping into the club. The players ten hug has brought in. Let's analyze the players he brought in. He's brought in uh, 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 Onana. Judas, jury still out for that. Amrabat on a loan deal. Jury still out, even though he was the best player yesterday. Uh, Mason Mount. No Wait to say, why don't we why don't we say mistake or a goodbye on the players he's brought in? Why don't we do <laughs> that? Right, let's let's round the table. Round the table. All right, we yeah. start. Um, Vim or Nana. Mistake. Joe. To the end of the season. Ben. Uh, he's not looking good right now, man. But uh, I'll give him to I'll, I'll give him some more time. Right, Ken. Give him time. Chris. Give him time. Mason Mount, Vim. Mistake. Joe. Mistake. Vims. I'm not gonna say mistake yet until Ten Hag has had more pieces of his puzzles put together. So I'll okay. give him more time. Ken. Mistake. I don't believe he was one of his pieces. Chris. Big mistake. It's a big mistake. Uh, Amrabat has a midfielder for loan deal and see if we're going to um, change it to a permanent deal later on. Vim. I think that was a good move. I, I rate him as a player. I mean, he, he does what he do, what he's supposed to do very well. Okay. Joe. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a decent band aid. Bams. He's okay, but I think we could we we could have better. But he's okay for now. Ben. Oh, um, yeah, I think, yeah, he he needs time. Give him time. Uh, he's 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 a good player. Um, he just he's been exposed. You know, like Chris, I, I said this before. Chris joined as well. And Chris mm -hmm. alluded to it. Okay, when you Chris. have a, a, a when you have so I'll just let me just finish explaining. You have a DM, 
Mm. Yeah. And that DM is, you know, it's exposed. It's constantly being exposed. Anyone will struggle. If you put McAlele, even McAlele in his, in his prime, Brian McAlele will struggle in this team. Okay. That Great. Good signing. But coach is, um, is putting them out to do, uh, put my, um, what's it? He's setting uh -huh. him up to fail at the, at the moment. The coach is setting him up to fail. Anthony, Vim. Mistake, especially at that valuation anyway. If we got him for maybe 40, 50, yes, but not at that price tag. Joe. That was a mistake. Um, he is not the winger that Manchester, he's not a Manchester United winger. Okay. Ben, Anthony. Not a Manchester United winger. I agree with both Vim and, and Joe on that. Ken. Give him time. Chris. I would say Tom as well, but again, um, Ten Hag's not utilizing him properly because when he was at Ajax, he was making a lot of short passes, so he had runners around him consistently, and he's not a pacey kind of winger. That's not his style. He needs right. people around him to do one-two passes and stuff, right. and he's, it's not happening in Man United. Martinez. But the guy that knows how to utilize him is not utilizing him, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tell me. You're telling me. Martinez, Vim. That was a goodbye. Joe. And that's probably his only goodbye, in my opinion. Joe. Who? Martinez. Who? Martinez. <laughs> Give him another contract. He stays. Okay. Bams. Sign him up. Get the paper. Sign him up, whatever he wants. Renew his contract. Ken. Good signing, but uh, he's he's moving into the territory of give him time. I, I know unless this is this is not proven by the way, unless the injuries, uh the injury that he sustained at the um latter part of last season affected the, his start this season. He's he was atrocious this season before he got injured. Right. Shocking. Yeah. So Let's let's give him time. Hopefully, he comes back fit and ready, ready to go. Chris, yeah, top signing, okay. top signing. Last but not the least, Hoyland, Vim. Mistake. Um, overpriced. Um, wasn't proven, and he doesn't make. Um, he's he's not threatening. He's not a prolific uh, goal scorer. He's got great energy, but that's not enough. We need someone to bang those goals in, and I don't see him doing it. Okay. Not Ciao. yet, anyway. You know, Vim is absolutely right. Uh, we do need somebody to bang it in. Um, we were supposed to get Harry Kane, but the team decided to go with Harlan. So, uh, he's done all right. Uh, I would keep him to the end of the season. He's young. Uh, he needs leadership. Uh, yeah. He doesn't need a to mentor. Be, yeah, he, he, needs, he needs a mentor. We need another top striker. We need to get rid of Martial. He was supposed striker. to be working yeah. with a senior striker, but yes. unfortunately, it didn't happen. It is, it is, it is it not is. his fault. Not his fault. Somebody else was supposed to be have that job, but the right. team didn't pull the trigger on that. Bams. So Ten Hag wanted uh, um, Kane and Hoyland. He wanted both of them. I think Hoyland is a good signing. He's just young. He's twenty. He's uh he's 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 just raw man. He's 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 not a finished product, so I I don't expect him to be to be finishing everything. And but he he is. I've seen signs of what from my scene. He looks good, so I'll keep him. He just he just needs that uh experience goal scorer ahead of him, like like a Harry Kane. But he's a good signing. Yeah, yeah. I I'll have to agree with with um, what Bem said. I think. We missed the trick on Harry Kane. How we let him go, I, I just don't understand. Even if we had to, what we should have done. One twenty million, though. One twenty million. It doesn't matter. What, look, okay. Look, yeah, yeah. But look, even if we paid one forty, even if we paid one forty. Twenty nine, bro. He's twenty nine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't okay. matter how many strikers. This is the Glazers we're dealing with, bro. This is the. I know, thing. what we're going through right now. That would have been a yeah. good, a good buy. That would Harry Harry Kane can play to. 40 like Ronaldo he does he's not his game's not built on pace you know we paid 72 million for 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 Highland which is a good sign in um um but he needs time if we had to pick one if we obviously Ten Hag wanted two if we 
get the two fine. But if we had to pick what we should have gone for Kane, that money we paid for uh, uh, Mason Mount, 72 plus 60, what's that? 130. 132. 132. You get Kane. Okay, we've got Mason Mount. What Are we playing Mason Mount? No. No. 120, one th that 130 million, we would have been definitely in the top four by now. All those chances. And the thing is with Kane, he drops into midfield and he links up play well, you know. And so, yeah, um, to answer your question, yeah, give him time. But he needs, and not, we can't get Kane anymore. So we need to go all out for us, us men. Can we get him? No. So we're back to. Good luck on that one, mate. Chris. We'll end, we'll end up with Solanke and Bobo, right? We, but, <laughs> I mean, we we can we can do it, man. We just need to we just need to sell a bunch of players. We just need to eat the just sell a bunch of players, get a bunch of players off the books, and then let's let's go after these players, man. I let even me, let me get the last one from Chris. Chris, uh, um, Hoyland. Yeah, I, I I rate I rate him as a as a signing. I think the he, he, you need he does need time. Um, because he's an unpolished, to me, he's an unpolished gem. Gem, because um, he's very, very raw, as um, um, Bem said. Yes, uh, I do believe. To me, I, I think he'll become a top striker. I think what would have helped if they had an experienced striker with him. Great but, question. I'm going to give Chris. Do we create enough trip. chances? Do we create enough chances for any striker in? This well, this game? this is the thing, isn't it? Because the wingers are Man United. They've, they've not done the, the jobs this season, have they? No. Um, I'm not even going to say, we all know how Rashford's been this season and Garnacho has stepped up, but he's he's still young, he's still... Yeah, England, he at least, at least Ronaldo, uh, Garnacho tried to cut the ball back to a point, at least he does go to the bar line and cut yeah, back. He does, he does but, but sometimes you can see that Garnacho is still, there's yeah. still a bit of immaturity in his play. Yes, and Anthony is he's not been on form, as we all know. He's um, it, this it just hasn't happened to him this season. Pelestri, Pelestri, he doesn't trust him, does he? And but to me, he should be getting more time. He should be getting more game time. But he, for some reason, Ten Hag doesn't want to play him. Okay. And again, that's another puzzling thing. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of it. We also so, missed out on Malaysia, though. Malaysia was a sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah Malaysia. Uh, Vim, Malaysia. Um, we bought him for 15 million. And as backup <laughs> for Luke Shaw, <laughs> yeah. that's a good purchase. Definitely. Okay. Joe, Malaysia. Goodbye. Yeah, good, goodbye. I'll keep him. Yeah, I think he's better than regular. So, I'll keep him. Okay. Bams, Malaysia. Yeah, definitely goodbye. He's he's a good backup to to Luke Shaw. I'll definitely keep him. Ken. Yeah, fifty fifty. A good backup. Is Luke Shaw good enough though? I mean, is he really good enough to take us to that next level? But to answer the question, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll take him. Just like, meh, you know, <laughs> fifteen. I, I feel like I feel like he would be a good backup to. The person that we eventually get that's better yes. than Luke Shaw. Yes, yes, you yes. Know. I agree with you. Yeah. Chris, Malaysia. Yeah, it's um, it's good signing. It's good signing. I, to me, I've never rated Shaw, man. I don't know what, I don't know what people see in him. But I just, I just, I've never rated him. So that's just my personal opinion. I don't see what people see in him. He just, to me, he's he doesn't offer enough. As a uh, fullback, and he's he's very, very very prone to making a lot of errors. So yeah, that's my okay. take on show. So it's obvious. Everton House buys thirty percent, a good other seventy percent, borderline. There yeah. is one more. There Who's is that? one more. Who? Alte Bayendia, the goalkeeper. Oh, we haven't seen, we haven't seen him. We haven't, we seen, haven't seen him. I've seen him on international duty. Really. I've seen him, and he's done well. But international good, football yeah. and <laughs> weekly football. Are completely two different things. Yeah. So it's hard to judge him. When he didn't go for Turkey, yeah, it's hard to judge pulling him. out stuff all over the place. But in the Premier League, yeah, we have played teams yeah. like Bournemouth and Crystal Palace who could come and put a, a monkey throw a wrench, um, a wrench in, in your in your a span of your works. He never but know you what not, can happen. Yeah, but do you not think with Anana making all these mistakes? That we should just give him some respite and bring in another keeper just to, you know, to take Anana out of the frame and, and focus in on January, his shot stopping. In January, Anana's going to Abcon anyway, so 
it, it, yeah, but then that, confirmed, confirmed, we just confirmed, we just throw we, we throw the goalkeeper right in. We should bring him in now for cup games and try him out and see how he copes with the team. I would, I would, do, is, I would Tim, do a sorry. cup games right now. Sorry, Tim, is that confirmed? Yeah. Is he definitely going to the Afcon? I, I uh, think he is. I yeah, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Because he's, gone, he's, yeah. he's rejoined the Cameroon national team. I think they had a beef. He settled it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's going. Let's talk about him. Him not going for the Af- Afcon, even though he yeah. recently reconciled. There was talk about him not going. He needs to yeah. go. Yeah. Let's see. I think he, he needs to go. <laughs> I think he needs a break. He needs I would like to see RT. I would like to see RT in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in his head, in his head, he's probably thought, you know what? I didn't think I'm gonna be letting in this many goals so quick in the season. (laughs) But his defense on I would say come to his defense, he does have a constant change in people in front of him, literally week in, week out, which is not easy. When it was an inter, he had the same guys, so everyone knew each other. This week, this week is Dalo and Wamasaka. Next week. Evans next week, Veron. It's a lot. Actually, I would give him that. Has he been great? No, I would give him so far a six. That's my I will mind. say he, so give, he has give made some five. saves. He has made some saves this season. He has done. He has he made, made some them. good quality saves this season. So he's not That's why like, giving him a six. We, we're I'm just six. we're just all of a sudden having this revisionist history. We all everybody that was that was calling for Onana. Had already given up the stop on the shot blocking abilities of David De Gea. We were willing to sacrifice that for the aggressive nature of uh, uh, Onana. We knew that Onana was not this great uh, uh, shot stopping guy. So why all of a sudden are we talking about? Oh, he's not. He was never this guy, and we were willing to accept that because his aggressiveness was supposed to get us more goals. But we are not scoring more goals, and he's being exposed. But I say, until we can implement our style, he's 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 always going to look vulnerable. That's yeah. that's just it. Yeah, and we don't we don't play for the back that we were planning to win by. Yeah, you know we don't have ball carrying centre backs. I mean, it is what it yeah. is. So he's really coming to a situation whereby he came literally at the wrong time when the system had to be set up right. It's like going to a new school, but they haven't got all your your syllabus ready and uh, your 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 structure of what courses you're gonna do. But you're gonna say, all right, just do this for now. As time goes on, we'll now give you the courses that you came into this school for. That's what it's like. That's, for that's, that's been happening. That's been happening for years with this club, bringing in players when the system is not ready for them. Pogba, <laughs> Ronaldo, uh, um, even Mason Mount, or Nana yeah. and this, and Mason, Di Maria, um, Di Maria. Di Maria, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hates so, United for life. Falcao, Falcao. He can, he can he off, there's though. a list, oh, a God long God. list. Yeah. So, as we can see, uh, we got thrashed yesterday by Bournemouth, who were 13th. They outscored us. The funny thing was, what I enjoyed from Bournemouth was the way they they, 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 it's like everyone knew their role. Everyone knew their role. And the passes, everyone was located in the right spot. Even Nathan Blake, the striker, was having a field day with Maguire and Shaw. They, he outjumped them all the time, but I don't know what it is. But now we have Brian Minnick on Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever day it is. Tuesday. Is what this matter? going to be the game that confirms we're coming last in the group, or is this the game that is going to take us into Europa, depending on the other results? I'm going to start with Ben's quickly. You've got two minutes to talk about uh, Brian Minnick, what you expect. What I expect from Brian Munich game, yeah. uh, man, it's a hard one, man. I won't put it past this team getting the result against Bayern Munich because we are known for those kind of like comebacks. That like those comebacks and yeah. those, those those reactions, especially after we've had a, a um like a slew of like bad games, bad results. I, I won't be surprised if we beat uh, um Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, but but I expect a loss. Uh, um, I expect us to be beaten. Well. And I expect us to, I expect us to finish. Uh, bottom of the like, table. Yeah, yeah, bottom of the table. Yeah, I expect right. us to finish fourth. Well, yeah. Ken, what do you expect against Brian Mika at Old Trafford? Another full house. Ooh. Yes, I. This is what's going to happen. I think we're going to beat Bayern, and one of the other teams will win. Yeah. And we'll still get knocked out. Yeah, we'll still get knocked out, and they will go to Anfield, and they will get pumped. Can you see my? <laughs> I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna beat Bayern. Everyone will go, oh, see, 
Yes, we're out. You know, if only we won the first two games, if only Ivanana didn't do this, and people go, you know, the team, you know, it's a good confidence boosting morale, morale boosting win, you know, and then everyone will get to get excited, you know, uh, people go, yeah, at least we're out of the Champions League now. We can focus on the league, you know, we can focus on the league, and then we go to Anfield <laughs> and get destroyed, and, and then we lost out. Square one. All yeah. Right. Okay. Chris, by Munich on Wednesday. Are we going out? Is this the end? Yeah, they're going now. They're, they're definitely going now. Uh, the, in terms of what, uh, again, like what I have to re reiterate what the guys say. The guys said, um, with this team, they're just so unpredictable. You don't know what you're going to get each game. This season, we've seen things that we didn't ever think we would be seeing uh, continued this season from last season when we thought we'd see progress, but we're not seeing progress at all. Things are just going backwards, backwards, backwards. But they will, they will, I think they will win, and they'll get no, they won't they won't go through. They, they're not they're not going to the uh, to Europa League. Um, I don't but, want them Europa. That Thursday Sunday they can't cope. They cannot cope. Um, yeah, they're gonna go to the they're gonna, they're gonna end up in the Europa League. I think that's what's gonna happen. But just come out all together, man. Damn. Yeah, the week itself is gonna be disastrous. It's a case of um, uh, how many goals are gonna concede this week coming up. Okay. So, all right. Joe, Brian Munich. Are we going out? Uh, are we gonna we're gonna do something triumphant to beat man. destroy Brian? And the fans are gonna be all yeah. Gonna have to light some candles, some incense. Some prayers. <laughs> I I've been saying this. I've been saying this since the beginning. It, it, since it's been very apparent and very clear, we have got no business in Europe, man. I hope we lose that game comfortably, and then respectfully see ourselves out of Europe, man. We got no business in there. But I just like how Ken said. What's probably going to happen is Bayern Munich is going to play. They're already through. Bayern Munich is going to play a weaker team. I personally don't think we can beat a weaker Bayern Munich team, but we'll see. <laughs> I personally don't think, even with the weaker team, I don't think we're going to pull it through. But, yeah, we, we don't need to be in this tournament. Like, all we're going to do is risk more players getting injured and just have abysmal games and get, like, we don't need it, man. Let's just focus Right. Let's focus on the players that we have. We don't have the squad depth to, to be in Europe. We just don't. Anybody gets injured in the midfield, who's coming off the bench? We got kids on the bench. All right. We we got no business in Europe. That's that's for the big boys. All right. So that's it. Uh, Vim, are we going out on Wednesday against Bayern? Um, we're definitely not qualifying for this group. We've we've had our chances and we've blown them all. Um, but just remind me, right, Bayern. Bayern have already qualified, right? 100%. So they're going to go through. Yep. They can they can afford to play their third team, the second team. It doesn't really matter. Now, Bayern being a big club like Man United might want to do us a favour and say, oh, we want to see Man United uh, progress in the competition. So they could field a very weak team and give us a win. However, Copenhagen, Gazeltas, Ray have both beaten us. Both good teams. Um, I th They're going to definitely go for it. And you know, because second place is going to go through to the next round, right? Yep. So I think Gal Galatasaray will get that. And we will probably end up in third because Copenhagen, Galatasaray are on five points. Each were on four. A win gives us, it takes up to seven. Mm -hmm. So the losing team of Galatasaray and uh, Copenhagen will remain on five. So we go to Europa League. So yeah, Thursday nights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the I mean, I don't. I honestly, I, I don't. I just want them out of Europe. Just focus because, it, it, like I said, we, we, the squad is too thin. We don't have enough players coming back so quick. We don't have enough resources to fill in the gap. So just come out of Europe, face your domestics, face your FA Cup. Your, in fact, we only got two trophies: FA That's Cup and saying, Premier League. To, to focus on what? What are we focusing on? The, 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 listen, focus what? on trying to win a trophy, trying to win an FA Cup. If that is. Yeah, but that's why we need to stay in the Europa League because no, at least we're, we're not. No, no. If we, we stay on there, let me just hear me out. If Thursday, we stay on there, Sunday, at least, we can't cope. It, this can't no, I, cope. No, I agree, with Kenny. We, we need. To, I think chance. we need to stay in. Yeah, we have to stay in because yeah. at least we have a chance of winning. You never know. Some voodoo. I don't know. Some not maybe not voodoo. So but you, you want this team may happen to, to represent us 
and going to Kazakhstan and try and win the Europa yeah. League. And you know why else? You know why else? What team are you looking at? Job. No, but no, you know no, why else? That, that, and this is going to support uh, Joe's and Bem's uh, argument. It gives Ken Ten Hag more opportunities to implement his style of football. Of course, we're, we're playing, we're paying Real these games. guys a lot of money. They can't be sitting at home during our the week next, playing Our next show, I get it. <laughs> our next show is going to be next Sunday after the Anfield result of a celebration or <laughs> destruction. <laughs> <laughs> that will be funny. I'm not asking for no predictions because we all know what's going to happen. Some guys told me, Tim, get ready for nine. Last season was seven. It's going to be nine. I, I didn't argue. I just said, I'll take whatever we take. If we lose 2 0, I will take 2 0. But... <laughs> This is how low we've come. Is that is how low we are? <laughs> Those, that is the biggest fixture in English oh, football. Forget we'll Man City, Man United, we'll forget deal. Liverpool, Everton. Wow. Liverpool, United is the biggest fixture in English football calendar every year for years and always will be. But we are too far apart from them. We will be destroyed. It will take them hitting the post, a player set up for us to get something out of that game. And don't forget, your favourite player is not, is not there. Um, Martin, uh, Bruno's out. Suspended. I think that's a good thing for us, Bruno not being there so because he's not. That bring in people that are going to work hard. Bring in, bring in. Uh, uh, I'm Bring in Bring in Kobe Mainu. Bring in Hannibal. Let's have three hard workers on the in the midfield. Hannibal, you're looking for him to get a red card. He's too erratic. That's the problem. He gets yellow yeah, cards too could, early. You could, you... Yeah, you no no you can he he can but with Kobe Mainu there and Amrabat, hopefully he won't have to do much. If you put Bruno there, Bruno will run all the way up there and 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 lose the ball. That's why, you know, they used to have another clan there, the Scottish lad. He's not going to get a yeah, hero go against no Liverpool. Problem. No chance. <laughs> Who would you play as a front fire. three? Who would you play as a front three against Liverpool? Joe. I'll play... I'll, okay, Joe, go on. Uh, I'll stick with... Um, I'll stick with uh, Rasmus, um, Ganacho. And Anthony, because we're going to need somebody to um, track back a lot. Makes a lot. Makes sense. Bams. Sorry, I was... Front three was against missing. Liverpool. Oh, you said front three against Liverpool? Yes. Front three against Liverpool. Um, Rasmus Hoyland up top. Left... Left Ganacho. I mean, right Anthony, man. I, I don't know who else you play. It's just, yeah. What about your boy, Martial? <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. I, man, you go quiet. <laughs> nah, I can't, I can't play Martial, man. I, I can't. You can't stop can't. him? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to think of the way Liverpool will play. I don't think him, I don't see him being a nuisance to to that centre back to um to uh, uh Van Dijk. or, or yeah, uh, Van Dyke. But I see but I see Hoyland being more of a nuisance though. Because more Hoyland is more physical. You need you need you need physicality against these guys and then also you need you need to be making runs and yeah um in behind them and and I know Hoyland will make those runs. So yeah it's it's clear. Yeah. Not not right. it's Ho Hoyland over Marcel. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll have to go with what the guys. That's that's it. Yeah, Anthony tracks back. Ganacho, he offers you that unpredictability, and Hoyland, um, yeah, gives you that physical edge, that tenacity, and that um, determin determination to kind of at least give the defenders something to 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 worry about. Because if you play Martial, there, what's going to happen is Kanate and whoever uh, Van Dijk, they'll just leave him and start pushing pushing us back because they'll just. You know when they step in, the, the, when the defenders start, step into midfield, and the midfielders step into our heart. But with Hoyland there, he'll give them something to 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 think about. To think about, Chris. Yeah. Front three, Liverpool. Yeah, I'd have to agree with the guys. Yeah, you've got to start Hoyland. Really. I have no idea why he didn't start over the weekend. It just made no I think sense. He was keeping it, probably keeping it for the Bayern Munich game. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but rest, resting for what? Stupid. Yeah, but why is he why is he resting him for? He needs to play the guy, man. Last time, man. I you don't know, know bro. Is he me? He <laughs> you know what I mean? He can take it out. It's not me. It's, it's him. It's just... Like, you, you saw Holland. He was, he, as soon as he came on, we were like two or three minutes. 
he was already making his presence felt. Marshall, right. I don't know what he's doing. Marshall's days are done, but it's got to be the, those front three. And the thing about them is that they, they they provide a lot of balance because they they they, they track back as well. Yeah, which you yeah. don't see from uh, Rashford. Well, the first I think this is the first time I saw him run this season against um, Bournemouth. I've never seen him run I, throughout the whole season. Has anyone seen him run? I haven't seen him run. He was running for like the ten minutes that he was on. No, no, no Ten Hag, he'll probably get deceived uh, about that and play and play him against Liverpool. I've noticed not that, a if single he person. If he does, if he mm. plays Rashford against Liverpool, I'm sweet. If I look at the starting lineup and I see Rashford, I'm not watching it. I'm 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 turning off the. There's no because I know what's going to happen anyway. I noticed not a single one of you even put an experienced Rashford who's played this game for so many years that he won't. He's not even none of you even said you won't even start him. It's, it, it shows how bad things really are. Of course, right. Rashford, right. like the way he is, has been this season. He he he's on he's on the exit door at the moment. He's, <laughs> he's just the got, he's just signed a new contract, bro. He's not exit yeah, door. Yeah, this is the thing, though. He the season before he, he was working his socks off to get the contract. Now he's got the contract. He he's done. He, he's he's done. So Rashford. what do we do with that? With four with four, a four year contract? How what do we do with that? Well, this is the thing, though. Uh, we don't have to personally for me. Ten Hag is not going to be around for too long, so they, they has to they has to start thinking about who's going to be who's going to be who's going to replace Rashford. Oh, boy. Unless the new coach finds a way that he can utilize him properly, because like with Rashford and Ten Hag at the moment, it's just not working out. I think they've got beef as well. Who, who's who's going to utilize running into triple coverage? Who's going to utilize that? What manager on this planet is going to utilize a player? That likes to run into triple coverage. There's no way. There's absolutely this is the, no way. This is the other thing. Like Rashford and under Ten Hag, you would have thought this would have been coached out of him. But he keeps doing it time and time again. We've seen it. He, he keeps running some minefields. He can't even dribble. And he keeps doing it time and time again. Like, it's insane. Like what, what's going on? Is the what, what, are they coaching him? What, what's happening there? It doesn't make any sense. I think. I think Rashford does not believe in Ten Hag's system, and Rashford thinks he is better than Probably. the Ten Hag system. Probably, I wouldn't doubt that. That, that. that is a. I think. I think that is a grave flaw in his character as a professional. Ain't no yeah. way he does. He watch his games. Is that this is the thing? And the thing is, like, like, like I was saying. You would, I, I was so shocked. He run for, for the whole 10 minutes against Bournemouth. We haven't seen any of that intensity in his game this season, have we? No. Nope. No. It's embarrassing. As a professional, I'm, I'm sorry, but like he, he, he's, he's, he's hung the coach out to dry. He's hung wow. the coach out to dry. Like he's, you have to expose him for that. That's, that's, as a professional, that's, that is extremely poor. Right. Right, we've come to the point of question. We have time for two questions. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right, go, Ken. Will Ten Hag be here as Manchester United manager on the 30th of December 2023? Now, the reason I ask is because look at the fixtures, right? Manchester United versus Bayern Munich, Liverpool versus Manchester United, West Ham away. We've... Uh, I go to the West Ham games closer to me. We've never won there. We haven't won there in ages. West Ham away. Then we go Aston Villa on Boxing Day. So this is December. And then the last game, December the 30th, is Nottingham Forest away. Is he going to be in charge after that? Who wants to Not what we you? think, but what, what's going to happen? Who, who wants he'll, to he'll, still be, he'll, still be, he, he'll still be the manager after the 30th. Do you, okay, so are you saying that because that's what you want, or do you think the club will leave him? Because those, I can't I see us winning any of those games, Ben. I don't. Looking, I can't I, see I, us winning any of those games. I, I I agree with you, right? I think we will nick some. We will nick a win or two here. I I I don't see us winning it, but I see us getting lucky or grinding out a win or two against one of these teams. That's one. Two, I don't see how. The club will sack him when there's still uncertainty about the ownership. I don't see how they sack him. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So just because if, if if we had the, the ownership structure already, right, mm -hmm. 
yeah, then I can I can say yeah, there's a chance he'll be gone. Just I think my is is more heavy on the fact that we still don't have uh, Jim Radcliffe has not been announced. So I, I don't see why they final. sack a manager when you still have that. It's not really confirmed yet. Solid point, ownership. solid point. Yeah, but Sky next. Sports is saying that, sorry, Sky Sports is saying that it may, it may be confirmed this week or now. I know they've been lying to us. They lied. Forget yeah. Sky Sports. Yeah. I've, I've I've heard heard so many times. Times. <laughs> All right, who next? Who wants to answer the question? Who's going to be here 30th of December? Vim. Yeah, he'll still be here. Um, 30th December 2023, Ten Hag will still be at the club. 30 December 2024, he will not. Oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> I will hold you to that, Bim. I will hold you to that. I think, so. the, I think the players are throwing him under the bus and they don't believe in the system and it's not working and we're regressing and that's the reason he's not going to be around. Joe, December 30th, with those pictures all there, where are we finding a win out of all of that lot? West Ham away? Aston Villa? Who just beat City and Arsenal in four days? I can't see that. But I think this this team uh, with, with those kind of odds, this team is gonna pull a couple out of there, man. <laughs> they they just they just know you already know, bro. They this team is the master of just just doing just enough, bro. Just enough <laughs> FC, man. You know, and how many times, bro? Listen, we've seen this before. <laughs> How many you, times you was Ole supposed to get fired on Monday? <laughs> How many times was True. Ole supposed yeah. to get? It's happening they were singing Ole. it. Yeah, they were singing it. They were singing it on uh, on Saturday. The uh, um uh the fans from uh what you call it uh Bournemouth. You'll be sacked. On, they were singing that sacked chant in the morning. It's yes, in the morning. They were singing that chant. Bro, uh, they, imagine they, they, Bournemouth fans saying that. That's an embarrassment. Yo, it's it's listen. There's a there's a show called um what you call it right now um it's on Sky it's called uh the Lazarus Project right I feel like we're all every two years we do a la- it's 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 a show about where like um there's like a disaster that happens the world ends right but there's this organization that can reverse time right and you have to like live through those two years or whatever to like to make sure that uh, the disaster doesn't happen. I feel right. like we do that every two years and we like try to see, we, we try to do the same exact things, right? We run, we catch ourselves doing the same exact things thinking we're going to end, it's not going to end the disaster. Right. Let's, let's stick with, let's break the cycle. We got to break the cycle, man. Let's right, break yeah. the cycle okay. and keep moving. Joe, sorry, sorry. By the way, Joe, is that, is that show good? Because I've seen some uh, pieces. It is, is it, it is. Good? So it you is say, good. you're saying he's still going to be here yeah. December yeah. 30th. He's still gonna be here. Yes, He'll Chris, be here, man. Chris, yeah. It depends on the. Uh, we know he's gonna lose against Liverpool, but if it's a B team that's higher than a four, I can't see how he's around the end of the year. I can't see wow. it. So you, you so you, you, you're not gonna you, you don't see us getting a result at West Ham, Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest. I think the Liverpool game might might might, might finish him off. Okay. I think that if, because if you think about it, last uh, year will be he'll be here after there. Liverpool. He'll be here. He'll be seven against Liverpool uh, against Liverpool last season. So you're telling me you're going to accept him losing six nil or four five six again this season against Liverpool? <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's not about what it's what we accept. Is 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 what we know will happen. They won't sack him after <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> this me, is your uh, way at Enfield. They won't sack him. I can I can that, bet. To me, that epitomizes the club. The club itself. It's like they go through slow motion at the moment. It's like they, it's, it's like everyone else around. Everyone, all the other clubs around them were moving. They're moving in a certain direction. It's like Man United. They're just like going okay, backwards. So Chris is saying going backwards in slow motion. So Chris, you're saying he's going to be done next weekend. I think he's going to be done next weekend. If it's oh, that would be great news for us to cover. Well, we'll see. If, if, it's in a, if it's an excess of four or five, four no, five, that would not be great news for us to cover, Tim. It, don't be no, talking about it. Have to cover. I have a better it's chance. Got a big talking point globally. Tim, that's that new year. That's that new year. We got a better chance. We got a better chance to win the Texas lottery. Then, then to not get sacked after next weekend's game. We have the a better is, chance to win the Texas lottery for real. Yeah, the thing is, you know, we haven't won <laughs> Anfield since 2016. In the aggregate, the aggregate is 
18 to them, one goal to us. Oh, yeah. That's what, what that's what the difference is. It's a gulf apart. What that's seven years ago, yeah. mate. Seven years we haven't beaten. So that and was they're, under... they're, they're 17 goals up. On and us. that was a one, was that a one nil d- win? Uh, John O'Shea, or was it? Was it John no, 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 that was under Fergie. Uh, 2016, okay. who was manager 2016? Was that? Uh, oh, yeah, Van Hal. Hal. That, yeah. Yeah, that was Van Hal. Yeah, that was the last yeah. time. That was the last yeah. time. Yeah, Mata, Mata's goal. The overhead yeah. game by Mata. Damn. Yeah. Really? We haven't won there since? No, we haven't won there since, man. Ouch. Ouch. That's that's not good. Hey, it uh, can, it can. Hmm. That's what a real fortress looks like. <laughs> <laughs> can he go you then, big time boy? Oh, oh man! I'm, 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 hey, I'm, hey, no, but no, I, no, I'm not, I am, I'm not a Liverpool fan, so I don't care. I don't care. I don't care I, what any team I, does. I am, you know what I mean? I am, Let them do I am stuff. glad. <laughs> I'm glad, right? I'm glad that Ken is going to retire that Fortress jersey. All right? I'm going to go ahead and put <laughs> it up on so, the banner. So for those who don't, don't know, know... I don't even know what Ken was thinking, man. What, what were you know, thinking? Chris, Ken had a, fort, a, fort, a background that called Old Trafford the Fortress, whereby United don't lose home games. At the time, United <laughs> were... We, so ever since then, he, we know him as Mr. Fortress. And since then, it's been like <laughs> yesterday a three 0 defeat at home. It is what it is. <laughs> and and it started, we started losing right after, right after Ken put, put the that fortress. fortress thing. Right after, he, we just started losing. But I got like... that from I got that from Man United website. They it, that was the banner on the Man United website. Fortress, you know, oh, you, you home. know better. Uh, we know better. Well, you, uh, you, can't be, you can't be. You can't see that man. You did that see what about um, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson's lost uh, less games compared to the period from when he retired up to now? Man United have lost more games compared yeah, to home. when Sir Alex Ferguson was in charge. That just tells you how embarrassing things are at Old Trafford. Wow. Well, I, I have a quick that. question, actually. Go on. So, you know, at some point, Ten Hag's uh, reign at this club is going to end. We can't get Pep and we can't get Four Klopp. years. But I think a lot sooner. So when that does happen, whether it's four years or next next year, who would you like to see managing Man United? Uh, it's got to be a realistic option. It's not going to be Pep. It's going to be Klopp. I'd Who's like a to realistic pose that question option? question to you, Vim. I'd like to pose that Me? question to you, Vim. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I'm still no, no, thinking no, no. about it. Okay. Joe, Joe, go on. Joe, go on. I <laughs> would like... If, if there was anybody that I respect, mm. I would not want them to come to this club. This club is here to 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 Bury tarnish managers. Yeah. any tarnish, yeah, manager's yeah. legacy. Yep. Unless wow. we change ourselves administratively, mm-hmm. you will come to this club and you will fail. Yep. Until we move, until we completely dismantle this this front office, until we dismantle this starting lineup. Let's let's even go into the academy. If we need to, right? Because I don't think we're getting enough. Like good product coming out of there until we do that there is nobody i want to see coming to this club i i want to see ten hag just like take out as many of these zombies as possible before he eventually <laughs> eventually succumbs john legend style you know so, <laughs> so, so, legend style. so yeah but what I happens if style. he gets sacked we're gonna stay managerless someone's gonna come in and and okay, okay. To the end of someone game. has Let to be that. there right okay. you know i bet you right if he gets yeah. sacked he, we're not even going to get a replacement. We're going to get an interim. The interim will be someone that's there. That's what Darren you guys Fletcher. want, right? That's Darren what you Fletcher. want, right? You want Darren Fletcher coaching Fletcher. us at the end of the season. Yeah. Yo, Steve right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, right? I'm not with him. That's what it's going to be like. No, no, because, uh, Chris, you're, you're calling for Ten Hag to be sacked because that's what you're going to get, right? But guaranteed. You, you won't get a new manager. I can guarantee you that. You won't get a new manager. If he gets sacked yeah, tomorrow after the Liverpool yeah. game, you won't get a new manager. Nope. Nobody wins anything is going to leave. Nobody yeah. worth anything. So, okay, Chris, yeah. who do you have in mind? I was they have to go for I will go for Hansi Flick. If not him, he won't Flick. come. He won't season. come in the middle of the season. No manager will come in the middle of the season. Go for go. If not him, go for bald head Flick. But Hansi Flick for me. Bald head. Well, who's I'll the bald head? No head proper Slick. manager will come in the middle of the season. No proper manager will come. Zidane. Hell no. Zidane. Zidane won't come. He won't come middle of the season. Zidane won't come here. Zidane won't come he here. Zidane. He's the guy I'll go for. 
I would say, I would say this. I think we have a better chance of winning the Texas lottery than Zidane becoming our, our manager. <laughs> Well, you have to, you have to try, bro. You have to try, bro. Hey, I, just, I, I guarantee just so you, you won't guys, I hear you. Just so you guys know, uh, winning the Texas lottery is highly improbable. <laughs> just so you guys know. <laughs> uh, I don't, everyone's, everyone's saying Hansi Flick, Hansi Flick. What did Hansi Flick do? I know it's national to, to that. He was absolutely dreadful for but, Germany. But, but, but yeah, it's yeah. true. Well, last, you won at yeah. the last yeah. Oh, he was terrible. Listen, Ger Jeremy was Hansi, terrible, man. Hansi Flick is, is the new Ten Hag. Maybe he's not, I feel he's sorry for him. Maybe he's not suited to national to coach um, to the national coach setup. Mm. Club, club coach setup. Maybe it's more for him. Sometimes okay, so he, what has he done? What has he hmm? done then? Well, what has I, think he, I think he, I think he, I, I think they won the Champions League with Bayern Munich a couple he years ago. Treble, right? they didn't. Treble, yeah, he won yeah. the treble with Bayern Munich. Yeah, he he did well at Bayern Munich. Uh, to 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 be fair, why did he get fired? Who, 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 who can't who can't win? Oh, the he treble resigned. With, um, he resigned. Oh, he, resigned? He, he didn't renew the contract. Yeah, he left. Yeah, he left. I mean, if there's any manager, I would say could I don't know. I was looking at this guy, Ancelotti. He's the only guy uh, I've seen. Ancelotti, Ancelotti will run, man. He, 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 would, he, would, he will quit. He will quit his job, man. He will, he will, he will quit after Brazil. two he's months. He's going to Brazil. He's he going to Brazil job next year. Yeah, exactly. He's going to Brazil. So you can't... Yeah, Ancelotti is, is, is out the window. I, I don't know any manager, and I would like to hear... Uh, uh, and th that's the... I'm running, I have no one to think of. I'd like to hear him give, give us his... Uh, maybe he wants the Bournemouth yeah, manager. Give me... Um... I, would, I would bring <laughs> in two managers. Give him two the managers are. Yeah, yeah, I'd bring in two managers. I think we need a lot more people at the top of this club, uh, management or coaching, running these players and, and, and figuring out a system. I think, you know, that Ariola guy can't do it on his own. I don't, I think Carlo Ancelotti would need help. Flick would need help. I just think that we could just change the system. We could, we could be um, unique and bring in two managers, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I don't know who they are right now. I really don't. Okay. Well, well, all roads lead to Anfield next Sunday. After the game, we will be live right. We'll be here to talk about a victory or a destruction. It's going to go only, or probably hey, a Tom, draw. Come it could hey, be a free free draw at Anfield. You never know this Man United team. You no, no, know. eight up, eight up, eight up coming. There's going to be a new drink uh, uh, created after next <laughs> week's <laughs> bumping. Eight up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, by a minute, by, by a minute. Got absolutely um, destroyed uh, this weekend. Destroyed this weekend, five one. So it looks like they're coming with a vengeance because. <laughs> and someone told me that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're coming. They're coming with a host. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kane, so right? Harry Kane going to be pumping them. He's going to be pumping. Uh, uh, uh um, oh, nah, nah, man. Oh, oh nah, nah. Take a go. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, God. Take a oh, go. Nah, Take no, another. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure, guys. It was fun today. I want to thank the UK crew, Fim, Ken, and Chris. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. And then my US crew, Joe and Ben. Thank you very much. On the day after, the Sunday after the morning, after United got destroyed at home by Bournemouth. Well, we'll see you guys during the week. And we'll catch yes, up sir. and see if United can pull out a miracle at Anfield. From all of us, it's goodbye and good night. Glory, glory. Man United. Man United. Man United. Hey, hey, please let's let's get let's get K on the next one, please. I need to see his face. Yeah, K nice K's one. giving up on my night now. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving up. All right, up. guys, you take it easy. <laughs> all right, man. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs>